Hello everyone. Let us see how to use the Puppet Warp tool in Photoshop and create a GIF animation. So, let us start. Here we have a person who has raised his hand. So we will use the puppet warp tool and make him wave his hand. We will create a simple animation where this person will be waving his hand. And uh, initially uh, we will apply the puppet warp tool to this person. I have uh, selected this person using uh, some of the selection tools in Photoshop and I have removed the background. Right. So now we'll just go to the edit menu and here we have the puppet warp option. So just we will select it. So we can see there is a cage over this person. So now what we can do is we can just create some points. So we can just click over his hand and we only want his uh, hand to move we want to uh, just create a hand waving animation so we'll be just creating these pins so we need to create pins all over his body so that uh, his body will not uh, shake when we are moving his hand so only his hand should move right so we can uh, just uh, see just uh, check here see his hand is moving so like this right so now what we can do is see we can just create one uh, pose here so make sure that uh, uh, you create it to uh, create a pose properly right and once uh, we are done we can just click on this tick mark to confirm right we'll we'll take one more duplicate simply we will hit ctrl j in pc or command j in mac and we will add a puppet warp again so we'll simply go to edit and here we have the puppet warp so again we'll do the same thing We need to just uh, create uh, these uh, points all over his body and we will create uh, three points on his hand and uh, what we can do is we can just move these points so we can see here. We can also uh, compare it with the bottom layer. Right this much is okay right so again we will just click on this tick mark and we'll take one more layer and again we will apply pop and warp and again we will just create points on his body and we will also create points on his hand and again we will just move his hand a little bit back and uh, make sure that uh, it doesn't look artificial so we need to properly adjust the hand here right and then we will click on the tick mark right and we will just uh, uh, do uh, some more poses just take one more duplicate and just apply the puppet warp tool so something like this right and we'll take 
one more duplicate we'll use a puppet map again and again we'll just move the hand right and one last duplicate will be taking just go to edit and apply the puppet warp and we'll just uh, move it a little bit to the right move his hand a little bit to the right right so now we got uh, these many uh, poses so now we need to create the GIF animation just we will confirm the final pose and uh, we need to go to window menu and open the timeline so here we have the timeline and uh, in the timeline we can see the create frame animation option so on the right side of this you can just uh, see an arrow if you click on that we can see two types of animations one is a video timeline and one is the create frame animation in case you have uh, the video timeline active you you have to select create frame animation right so right now we have the create frame animation option active just click on it right so by default it will uh, just convert the active layer into a frame so right now the active layer is the topmost layer right but what we want is we want all these layers to become frames so we'll be converting all these layers into frames so how we can do that it's very easy just we need to click on this hamburger menu to the right of this timeline panel so just here just click on that and here we can find an option that is make frames from layers so the moment we select this option it will convert all these layers to frames right and now we have six frames these six frames are created from these six layers right and if we just play this see to play this see here we have the play button just we'll play so we can see here we can see a simple animation right and uh, if we want to slow down the animation we have to hold shift and select all these frames and uh, just uh, if we click on this uh, arrow icon the down pointing arrow icon we can just see so you can just uh, uh, select uh, one of the values here you, you know if we want to play the animation a little bit slowly so let's select 0 0.2 seconds and let's play now so we can see so the animation is playing very slowly but uh, we don't want 0 0.2 let's select 0 0.1 so it's not too slow or too fast so we can see here and we can do one thing uh, if we uh, see a little bit uh, a little uh, flicker at the bottom so we can just crop this uh, entire document till here just we'll go to image and we'll select crop right so now we'll just play the animation so we have just created a simple hand waving animation so now what we'll do is we will just export this as a gif file so for that what we need to do is we need to go to file and here we have save as so in case uh, you are using 
an older version of Photoshop, we can export the file as a GIF by going to File, Export and here we have the option Save for Web. But we are not going to do that. We have the latest version. So we will go to File and we will say Save As. And here we can select the GIF format and we will simply save our file as hand waving and we will simply save right so now let's check the output so we can see here so we have created a simple gif animation of hand waving moments we have created a simple hand waving gif animation using the puppet warp option as well as the frame animation in the timeline panel so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please do like share subscribe and if you have anything to say do comment see you again